Welcome back everyone and thank you for tuning in. Today I'm going to completely refinish the interior trim in my Mark 6 GLI, going from a cheap plastic to a high quality carbon fiber wrap feel inside the car. So I'm going to take it out, fill in the grooves with the plastic epoxy, sand it down, refinish it, and wrap it with a 5D carbon fiber wrap. And it's going to look absolutely amazing, so please enjoy. First, I'm going to go ahead and start removing the trim. Now for this I got a precision flat head and just put some blue painters tape over it just so that way I don't damage the trim or the door and there's a notch right here that I'm just gonna pry it into when I got this vehicle there was a crack in the leather I just got black leather repair and it's kind of like a rubber and just kind of paint it over it and let it dry and it blends in blends in pretty well it was connected to the speaker I'm gonna have to get a new uh a new piece for this for the speaker all right so i finished snapping that piece off and just taped the, the speaker right there first i'll go ahead and and order that and then just try not to do this to the other door this time i didn't snap the speaker cover right there i got the trim out nice and easy all right went ahead and got got this door done so now i'm going to go ahead and get this trim So this just pushes in, and twists, and pulls out. I removed the light switch by pushing down on this tab and pulling it out. And I just took that precision flathead, taped it up real nice so it wouldn't scratch anything, and I jammed it around the middle of this trim and pushed basically as far goes as far back as I could go. And then I just pried it out until it just snapped and came off here so now all right it's out and that was no easy task found kind of helped to get this side out by pulling this open and pushing this notch down with one of those precision screwdrivers and it was able to kind of just help support it and release all right now for this trim there's torx bits behind it so you want to start by removing these screws right here. I'm gonna go ahead and do this and remove this one, this one, and this one. So there should be three right here initially. All right, so those are removed, and now we're gonna remove this side panel right here. Your way up. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this Torx bit right here on the side. There's only one. So now we can go ahead and close the glove box here and remove the two Torx bits underneath. So we're gonna have a Torx bit right there on the left and then a torque spit on the right. There's going to be a torque spit here on the right side, so the right, the middle, and then the left. All right, got all the trim removed. I ordered a new speaker cover. Nice, this is all removed this door in the glove box. All right, so now that those are off, I'm gonna drive around while those panels are off while I refinish the trim. I'm gonna do it right though. So a lot of people have said that when they do a wrap over these GLI trims, the grooves in the trim is kind of showing up on the wrap. So it doesn't come out to be a truly finished trim that I want it to look like. I want it to look you know, as clean and smooth as possible. So I'm going to fill in the grooves with a plastic filler and I'll show you all the parts in a second and I'll put the parts list down in the description below for you. There are all the parts right here. When I get close up, you can see all these little, these little grooves in here. Really everything that you need here is some sandpaper from coarse to very fine, heat gun, vivid, carbon fiber, 5D, rapid tack, JB Weld plastic, Bonder. It's a body panel adhesive and gap filler. Normal all-purpose spray to clean down the surfaces. I'm gonna start just by sanding down these surfaces because it has a paint coat over the plastic. I want the bonder to, to stick better to the plastics. Everything is sanded down, and again, I'm using 220 grit sandpaper, so really fine the entire time. I'm sanding down the surface to just expose as much plastic as possible. 
but still having some grooves to fill in with some of the JB Weld. I'm going to go ahead and pour some onto the plate, mix it up, and then use a squeegee and spread it out and let it dry for about 30 minutes. Here are the, the panels. You can see the freshest ones I've done looks completely clear. As it's drying, it's starting to thicken up a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry for about 30 minutes and then come back, sand it all off, get it nice and smooth. So I'm just propping, propping them up with these little metal pieces I found in, in my garage, but you can see the finish here. So it's actually completely soft to the touch. I decided to paint it after I saw it, even though it's smooth and it's ready for wrap, I just wanted it to just have that nice coat underneath. I'm using this Fusion All-in-One uh, Paint and Primer Gloss Black. For the clear coat, I'm using the Rust-Oleum Satin Clear Enamel. Here it is with the first coat. After about five coats, here it is. Clear coat is essential to protecting the paint underneath, as well as the vinyl, trim, etc. So after applying the clear coat, the finish wasn't perfectly smooth. It kind of brought out some of the imperfections, got a little thick in some areas. I'm doing this for the first time, so it's definitely a learning experience, but I know that one way to get the finish nice and smooth again is to do a wet sanding technique. So in this next part, I'm using 1000 grit sandpaper, getting it wet and then sanding the whole surface to get it nice and smooth and even and also rough. That way the carbon fiber wrap has something to adhere to. So you can get an idea after the paint and clear coat, there's some bumps and imperfections. After using a fine 1000 grit sandpaper, so it got rid of all of those imperfections, leaving a great surface to wrap with. So I'm gonna leave the slight roughness on the surface because it's gonna allow the vinyl to stick better. So now I'm gonna wrap it in the carbon fiber. Before we start, just note that you can't use this with any other alcohol or cleaning fluids. This is the cleaner and application fluid. So don't use isopropyl alcohol first and then this, you just wanna use this first. Here's the rest of the interior again. It looks very good. It just makes the car look so much newer, feel sportier. It just, it feels nicer. It's just a much nicer quality than the trim before. All right, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the start to finish. I think the end result looks absolutely amazing. So please give it a shot on your car. It works on any vehicle. So like and subscribe to stay tuned for more projects to come.